Hello. Let us copy and complete a table of values below for the relation y equal negative x squared plus 5x minus 3 for the interval negative 3 less or equal to x less or equal to 5. Then using scales, scales of 2 centimeters to 1 unit on the x axis and 2 centimeters to 5 units on the y axis. We will draw the graph of the relation y equal negative x squared plus 5x minus 3 for negative 3 less or equal to x less or equal to 5. Then we will use our graph to solve x squared equal 5x minus 3. Then you use our graph to solve negative x squared plus 4x equal 3. So let us begin. So we need to fill in these values here. When x equal negative 2, we substitute negative 2 wherever we see x in this relation. So that will give us negative 4 minus 10 minus 3, which is negative 17. So right here, we write negative 17. Again, when x equal negative 1, negative 1, then we will get negative 1 squared plus 5 into negative 1 minus 3. So this will simplify to give us negative 9. So you write negative 9 here. We continue the same process until we get a complete table. But for the purpose of your examination, at least this two is enough. So use your calculator to fill in the remaining missing values. Now that we have the complete table, we can plot the points on the XY Cartesian plane. So we draw our X and Y axis and label it. Then we also use the scales given to us. Now we plot the points. We brought the points, the x and y values, as you can see, we brought them, as you can see in the graph. Then we now draw a smooth curve through it. So this is how the graph of the relation y equal negative x squared plus 5x minus 3 looks like. Again, the next thing we are going to do now is to use the graph to solve the equation x squared equal 5x minus 3. So how do we do that? We look at the equation given to us and make sure that the one given to us to solve is rewritten to look like the original one that we have graphed. So it means we need to compare this equation to this one. So looking at that, we can see that 5x minus 3 and 5x minus 3 are the same. So negative x squared is the one that is different from this side of the equation. So what do we do? It means we need to send the x squared to the other side of the equation. So that is what we have done here. So this is the same as negative x squared plus 5x minus 3 equals 0. So I swap their position or we switch them. 
So solving this equation, which is equivalent to this, is the same as looking for the x intercept of this equation over here. So looking for the x values at which the graph of this relation intersects with the x axis. So from the graph, we can see that the values are at this point and this point. So that will give us 4 point three and zero point seven each of the boxes on the x axis will be zero point one because of the scale given to us two centimeters to one unit so since there are ten boxes in each two centimeters it means one box is zero point one so this we have zero point seven here and here to we have 4.3 here. Now let's look at this one. How we can use our graph to solve this equation here. Again, we need to rewrite this equation that you are looking, we are, you are seeing to look like this one. So if you compare the equation, you can see that we have negative x squared, we have negative x squared. Then when we send a 3 to the other side, we get negative 3, negative x squared, so negative 3, negative 3, negative x squared. So the next thing we are going to do is to make sure that this 4x is 5x so what we need to do respecting the rules of mathematics is that we will add x to both sides of the equation so plus x plus x so when then we will get something like this so that will give us negative x squared plus 5x minus 3 equal x so this is now looking like this so this is y so to graph this equation we need to also write it as y equal x so we are going to look at where the intersection of y equal negative x squared plus 5x minus 3 and y equal x on the graph will give us so we are going to solve these two equations simultaneously y equal negative x squared that's 5x minus 3 and y equal x simultaneously on the graph it means we should look for the intersection of this straight line and this parabola so since we have this parabola already we need to now draw the graph of y equal x so this is a straight line so we can use the x values given to us from the table we can pick any three x values or at least two so when x equal negative 3 y equal negative 3 we call y equal x so when x equals 0 y equals 0 when x equal 3 y equal 3 now we can graph that by plotting the points so as you can see the points are in the red dot so we draw a straight line through this point so you can see that the straight line and the quadratic graph intersected at two points so we trace that point to the x axis and that gives us x equal one or x equal three so that is the solution of this equation using the graph thanks you thank you so much for watching see you in the next video